The law is Amanda's law, named after Amanda Ross, slain ex-girlfriend of former state representative Steve Nunn. It is geared to protect victims of domestic violence more than they are under current laws. It could only provide more safety for the individuals. And from what little research I've done on it, hmm. it's been 100% effective in, in uh, areas that have used this. Barker works for Letcher County Cares, a transition housing program for anyone affected by domestic violence. We have seven units and we have seven full units. Uh, if we had 20, 30 units here, we, would, we could keep them full. We have that much of a problem here. The new law will address several things, one of which makes shelters for domestic violence a little safer. It now prohibits perpetrators from coming on the grounds any property that's owned by the shelters. If they do, then they can be prosecuted. Valentine says ultimately victims have to rely on their own decisions, not new laws, to stop the violence. Well, if they can make their own choices and learn to, you know, be wise with choices, then they're not going to break that cycle. They'll just go from one abusive situation to the other. The new law will go into effect next Thursday. In Perry County, Sean Evans, WIMT Mountain News. If you